There are mainly two types of text that can be entered into AutoCAD from the annotation panel above, the single line and the multi-line text. There is a slight difference in the properties of each. Let's see how the single line option works first. Click on the tool and define two points on the worksheet to define the height of the text box. The selected height would be the height of your text as well. Next, define the rotation angle, which in this case is zero. If the text entered with the single line tool is in two different lines, both of these lines will be treated as different entities in the worksheet. For example, let's type outer area, press enter, and then type in the dimensions. You can see that I can move both of the lines separately on the canvas. The multi-line text option is a little different. The complete text entered using this tool will be treated as one single entity. When you move around the text box, the whole text will be moved. The multi-line text option is mainly used to copy and paste text from elsewhere onto AutoCAD. Copy the text and press Ctrl V to paste it in the multi-line text box. Now you can label and add headings to your architectural drawings.